Hello everyone and welcome to my video on how to adjust your memory settings for Minecraft. In this video I'll be showing you how can you uh, how you can uh, fix your memory, allocate more memory so you stop getting annoying crashes and basically on how to do it and what if you get errors and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see here I have over made a test folder <coughs> which I have downloaded Minecraft in and as you can see it's just minecraft.exe downloaded from the from the website and the first thing we're going to do is making a batch file this will be done by making a new text document with notepad and we are going to call it minecraft memory fix just like that uh, it does not matter how you name it but just for uh, just for recognizing it and then we are going to type add echo off to start with then we are going to type java w xmx uh, just doing this for um, 32 bit well I'll actually do it for 64 bit because I'm running that we're going to do 4069 and this is basically the maximum XMX is the maximum amount of virtual memory it can use and XMS is the actual the maximum actual memory it can use so we're just going to put that on 2084 these measurements are in megabytes so uh, 4096 would be 4 gigabyte and 2048 would be 2 gigabyte and after that we are going to put dash jar and we are going to put the minecraft location uh, on it so the in this case it would be c users my name desktop test folder and behind that we are going to put minecraft.exe be sure to use these um, flying things the, the things to uh, name something uh, the quotes and this and after we've done that we're going to put pause behind it so this would be a setup for a computer with 64-bit uh, operating systems with 2 gigabytes of RAM so and then we're going to s save it as as you can see here save as text documents we're going to save it as all files and we are going to call it minecraft memory fix but bot this will make it a batch file which runs stuff off your computer so make sure you have selected all files and put dot bot behind it and then we're just gonna save it and as you can see it has become a windows batch file and when we run it we get minecraft and if it's all done correctly i'm just gonna see As you can see, allocated memory 1962 mega megabytes, so that's around two gigabytes, and uh, up the used memory. My screen is actually too small, but I'll just do it like this. Used memory 5% 192 MB of 3040 MB, which would be the 4 MB. So this actually works now if you get a error of some kind this could be on 32 bit whether you have used too much um, too much memory please refer down below for the good value of what to use on the 32 bit system and for 64 bit it would be dependent on your environment variables now this part is going to be about the environment variables and please listen carefully because it's quite advanced it's, well it's not really that hard if you know how to do it but please pay attention we're going to do go to the start menu go to the computer and hit properties you'll get a window like this now if you're on windows xp or anything like that you should go you should have the same button that says advanced system settings and this will bring up this window and it's in Dutch my window so 
but there should be a button with environment variables. And we're gonna hit that window and you'll get a next window. All kind of uh, might seem complicated stuff here, but it isn't really. And we're going to look up the variable called path. As you can see, I already set it up. But normally this would be something in common files, cw slash, uh, c double dot slash common files, something like that. But you're going to put your Java folder in it. In this case, uh, it is going to be c uh, double dot program files java gre6 bin. And for 32 bit, it will be the same because 32 bit systems do not have a special, uh, special folder for 64-bit stuff or anything like that. So basically what you want to put here is your Java folder. This could be different for some PCs, but if you do not know where your Java folder is, just check your program files and see where Java is installed. But you have to always select the map, the, the folder actually, sorry, where Java w.exe is installed. So what you could do is search for that file and then write down or copy the the pad and then you have to in enter it at the value of the variable. And when you have done that you're going to hit OK, OK, OK. And if all is good we should be able to run Minecraft. As I had this problem before I found a solution to it. I'm quite handy with my Microsoft Windows but it should work now and as you can see it works because I had it already set up but it seems Minecraft is down it been, has been all day but basically this is a tutorial on how to fix your Minecraft memory usage and um, if you like this video if you like what I do please subscribe uh, rate comment whatever if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and uh, just make sure to check all your steps and listen carefully to what I say when you are uh, doing this. And if you have any questions, just drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a lot of fun playing Minecraft without it crashing all the time. So cheers, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.